I'm struggling right now. It's 4 a.m. I haven't slept at all. I had to come down to the workshop. I can't sleep in the bus anymore. Hey, Odie. Good morning. I'm done. I'm never sleeping in the bus again. I'm moving into the workshop. At least I am. <laughs> if you want to sleep in the bus, you can. I'm moving here with you. Hola. Hola. <laughs> what is a custom party today? What is the team? I wanted to see what you were, what you were, uh, what you noticed first. Oh, you know. A beautiful thing. Yeah, that's what I thought you. I thought you noticed this first. It's not the tissues in my nose. I know. Well, no, no. When, when, when I went here and the other one, <laughs> it was oh. impossible not to notice that. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was like white cream that you had there. Whipped cream? No, no, it's tissues. I've been up since 4 a.m. with it. My allergies are just insane. Oh, so Why bad. I, I have two he rivers in there. my nose. So George's inside the workshop. He is currently struggling hard today. I don't know what's going on, if it's the mold or it's just allergies, but just constant, constant running. <laughs> so I'm taking over today. That's what we do. We help each other out. So it's time to get to work. By the end of the day today, I have confidence that we're going to have this table done and in the workshop. So I'm just measuring 10 inches down and putting two more um, pieces of metal that are going to connect these two legs together, just like these. 17 and 15 16. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grind down these welds so that I have a nice flat surface to weld. So now I'm gonna go ahead, now that it's all welded together, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice fresh coat of black paint. But before I do that, I'm just wiping the whole thing down with gasoline, which is gonna take the, any excess oils or anything like that off the middle. Is that a new version of Flavor Saver, or what is that? This? Uh huh. This is known as a dam. <laughs> you know what a dam is? No. When a, when Can you explain a, it to me? When a beaver wants to block a river, uh huh. It takes a bunch of stuff and dams it up. I have, yours. I have two rivers going on in my nose right now. You guys, I'm dying over here, but I just want to let you know that Kaylee is also dying now because someone who they might be watching this video right now keeps putting us on Google Maps. And, and we've if been... that's you, please stop. <laughs> Kaylee. I'm begging you <laughs> to just not do that. Kaylee, they put us as a housing society. <laughs> Can we change it to a cult so that no one comes? <laughs> Were you just like snorting your arm across? Huh? Like this? Yeah. I might have just done that, yeah. yeah. I'm starting to get some allergies too. I don't know what's going on. We've been getting a lot of visitors up here and we like meeting everybody, but it's just becoming a lot. Uh, when it's people, multiple people coming every day, it was like, it's like, I feel bad saying this, but please don't come up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to, okay. we want to meet all you guys, but we're trying send to send us an email. Don't just show up. And I, I'm sorry if this is rude, but like Kaylee's, Kaylee's really, really, really every time, every time. Cause usually what happens is all of a sudden people start screaming our names and then I'm like, Kaylee, we got to build that freaking wall. Granted, <laughs> I get it. I understand that, you know, we put our lives out there. We're on YouTube. Don't put us on Google Maps and please don't come to our land without asking first. I'm sorry if this is rude, but this is this is, this is how we feel. It's mostly just because of the amount. Like if it was one per people or two people, but it's been daily and we're trying to get some stuff done. Yeah, that's our little uh, public service announcement. Let's get back to the show.
So I'm just getting ready to put the last and final coat of varnish on the wood. Well, I've taken a bunch of allergy medicine and things have gotten, things have improved for me a little bit. <laughs> sure. I want to look up how much a butcher block costs on Amazon. And you can buy a butcher block that's 36 inches long and one and a half inches thick and it's $236. That's just for the butcher the wood. block. Yeah. This wood is 60 inches long, so nearly double, and three and a half inches thick. So twice the thickness and twice wow. the length. And this and the metal. Total. $90. Can't Man, it that. wasn't that hard. It was easy. You could buy- No, it really wasn't that hard at all. You could buy all the materials to do this for less than it would cost just to buy this butcher block off of Amazon. Definitely. If any of you guys are interested in trying to do something like this with two by fours, I'll link all the tools that we use and all the materials that we use down in the description. We're getting out of here for a little bit. We're leaving this rain. We're going down to the city actually because Kaylee has her first doctor's appointment for her pregnancy. So I'm just getting ready to walk into my first ever prenatal appointment. I'm a little nervous, a little How nervous. How excited are you to scale one to 10? Mo more excited than nervous, but um, yeah, let's do this. A big, cute, pregnant lady. And I walked in, I was like, so. What are you gonna do when you have a belly that big? I'm just gonna use it as a shelf. Just like put cookies there. <laughs> Love you want a cookie? Sure. <laughs> Nicest doctor's office I've ever been in, in my whole so life. Nice. <laughs> oh, what is that? The heartbeat. We're gonna hear it now. It's like in a photo booth. But a photo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our little baby, our first baby photos. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna say it's cute because it doesn't look cute yet. You can see the little feet and the arms. And the little hands. hands. Oh, look at Does it look like a turtle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she said that everything came back normal, everything was good. normal, everything looks very healthy, and the heartbeat was like perfect. All is good. It is amazing how much better I'm feeling. I wasn't even close to being able to do that this morning. And I feel like 100% totally normal, no allergies at all. So this is where we're gonna be staying for now. A little blow up mattress. We didn't want to get, we're obviously gonna have a real mattress in here and we don't want to get it yet. Cause we still have some construction to do and just pictured so much, so much dust getting in the mattress. So we're gonna hold off on that. But for now, Ooh. we got the blow up mattress. We got Lola over here. We made her a little bed underneath the table. <laughs> and I'm exhausted. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, I gotta feed this. <laughs> Come on, I gotta put the bed away. Lola thinks the bed's for her. But I just gotta tell you guys that this was hands down the worst night's sleep I've ever had in my life. Like just what? no, no sleep. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why. It was the windiest night we've ever had last night. And we also built this to be a workshop, not to be a house. So it was loud. But I guess, I guess the good thing is, <laughs> you can probably hear the wind right now. Even though it's windy season and the windy season can be pretty brutal, it's not every single day. So hopefully, maybe we'll have a break tonight. <laughs> it's calm, then then. Today's gonna be a tough day. We're both going about two days, a, well especially me, I've been going two days on no sleep. But there's one mission, there's one objective that we have, and that's to get this workshop livable so we can get off of a blow up mattress. Honey, what's the most important thing to you this whole thing? Comfort. <laughs> You didn't even need me, me to explain what the whole thing is. What, this whole workshop? I don't know, I was, I, I was gonna get all like philosophical and say life. <laughs> Comfort. 
come from? <laughs> now that we finished the messy part of this window, we just immediately are trying to fulfill comfort. We literally went down to the store right when we finished this. We got a couch, and it's right there in our truck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's the only complimenting me because of the camera. That's not true. <laughs> I think we got a good color, sweetie. Yeah. Woo! Woo All right, let's put those backs on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, no. This thing's not working. The recline. It's not working. Pull the button on the side, see what happens. Maybe, maybe once. <clears throat> this shit's broken. Joe? My recline literally doesn't work. <laughs> Are you joking or are you Maybe serious? Maybe it's because you're Not too joking. heavy. It's funny, we really didn't even have that many options. It was like, hey, what do you have for couches? It was like, this one. And they had one in stock. This is the last one. I think we just gotta go with it. <laughs> this is exactly why Kaylee and I have just gotten into the habit of building all of our own stuff. And we actually talked about even building our own couch here. Yeah, we were talking we about did. it just a couple days ago. Yep. Um, it's weird, this couch is actually rusty. Like, you can, it seems like this is like an old couch and then they just repainted it and you can see this all this rust and then that what's happening is it can't close because all the the joints all the joints are rusted <laughs> so that's what's happening and you can even hear it squeaking you hear that yeah so we we'll just have to keep messing with it and see see if we can get it as good as we can yeah worst case you know we just got a little rusty couch that we got to finagle with when we want to I mean, hey, lean we back a, we, got <laughs> we got a couch it's all that matters and there's, all, there's only one thing that really matters anyway and that's comfort and it's very comfortable. Oh, I was gonna say, love the girl. Ah! Oh! Come on, good girl. Bob girl, we got you a couch, honey. Come and try it out. Come oh on. My God. <gasps> what is no. So, what do you think? Do you like the couch? Did we pick a good couch? You like it? Yeah. All right. Today is parasite day for the goats. This is when we give them. This is the day when we give them all their herbs and everything to help prevent against parasites. And it's been so easy. They just love eating it. We just mix it with a little corn. Have you ever listened to a goat drink before? They like slurp. It's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Your cute little face. <laughs> moment we're starting to get to the aesthetic part of the land so we really want to have this place just filled with flowers and plants and vegetables and fruits and trees and all that good stuff so Adriana and Iberto and I'm gonna chime in a little bit today they're working on a pathway that's going to lead all the way up to the greenhouse and the other areas of the lands um, and it's just gonna be rows and rows of beautiful plants so they went and picked up some plants today we have them all laid out here, and then we'll start planting them real soon. Adriana is about as good in English as we are Spanish. She might actually be better. Que hable en inglés para la gente de YouTube. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs>
the downstairs is so close to being 100% done. We just need to paint each one of these window frames now and then do the door frame and then just finish up the electricity over here. And then that's basically it. We also have to do the bathroom, of course, but that's gonna be months, weeks or months. Which means we're just that much closer to moving upstairs, baby. <laughs> Good boy. These guys absolutely crushed it today. It's so nice having help and having all these guys that are gonna be living up here. We're just gonna be able to get stuff done so much faster than if it was just Kaylee and I. And check out all these flowers that they planted. All these flowers kind of border our walkway that Kaylee's staying in on right now. And eventually, when, <laughs> hi, bud. <laughs> eventually, we're, we're picturing uh, a stone walkway that kind of goes all the way up and through the land. And all these plants, they look really small now, but the plan, hopefully, they're not destroyed by the wind or the dogs. <laughs> that they'll get nice and full, almost like big bushes that'll just kind of go along the pathway on the sides. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. This has literally been cooking, not just figuratively, literally <laughs> been cooking <laughs> for almost five, six hours, five and a half hours. I haven't had ribs in so long. So long. It just feels so comfy in here. We've been having the oven going and we also have our wood stove going behind us. I've actually been seeing a bunch of questions about this wood stove in the comments recently. Some of you guys have been asking why we got it so small and then why we put it up so high. We got one so small because we only need to raise the temperature in here by like five degrees. It's usually around like 60, so we can get up to like 65 or 68 or 70. That's totally good and this stove can do it. And this, It's been putting out heat and it's been awesome and it's been so cozy. And why we put it up so high? Well, it's just way easier way easier to put wood in there. This is like the first time that you can tell there's actually a baby in there. Look at it. Oh! Are you sure that's not just the ribs we had? No, it's not dinner. <laughs> I'm just hoping tonight we can get a little bit of a better night's sleep. The wind's a little bit less. It's not raining. So I think we're gonna be able to sleep well, but I'm absolutely exhausted after not really sleeping well for the last few nights, but we're hopping on the blow-up mattress. Tomorrow's gonna be all about moving in here, getting the upstairs all done, getting our bed in here. That's about it. Closing time, baby. It's closing time. So, this is gonna say goodnight to you guys. See you next time. We love you guys. See you on the next one.